My name is uh, Harald Hampel. I come from Germany and uh, I was appointed recently to the AXA chair at the uh, Pierre et Marie Curie University. My workplace uh, is the Me Institute for Memory and Alzheimer's Disease and the Brain and Spine Institute. The problem with Alzheimer's disease is that today we wait for a long time. It's a decade-long disease and we wait to the last stage. This is compared to cancer, we would wait until the person is in pain and has uh, irreversible uh, problems. Patients have developed all the symptoms, memory loss, disorientation, and cells has, in the brain have already died. So what we need to do is to go earlier. We have to explore the silent stage, the decade-long silent stage, with pathological alterations in the brain ongoing for maybe 20, 30 years without symptoms. Right now we have about 35 million patients worldwide. Imagine that this will rise to 65 million in 2030. So the number of Alzheimer affected patients will double every 20 years. The number of patients will explode. And also the public spendings that we have. We have about 600 billion euros spending on a worldwide scale today for Alzheimer related care. And this will expand by five times, which means that all the healthcare systems will go bankrupt by the time Alzheimer reaches its climax in numbers. So here I'm going to develop Alzheimer-related technology to early detect the disease at the silent stage, to characterize patients as early as possible before irreversible damage of the brain has occurred, and patients that we can then use for therapy trials that are effectively treating Alzheimer's disease and with the ultimate goal to prevent Alzheimer's disease. We think that Alzheimer's is a protein misfolding disorder, which means that proteins that are within cells and outside of cells are sticking and clumping together, building aggregates that are circulating and are toxic to nerve cells. In our work at the Alzheimer Institute and the Brain and Spine Institute, we bridge from fundamental basic research and new discovery of molecules, mechanisms and therapies to application, clinical application. And we are very close to introduction of certain diagnostic tools in our Alzheimer's Center into clinical practice. The first tool we use is neuropsychology when patients have developed first symptoms. In addition, we use as a second tool imaging technology, MRI for structural changes and PET for metabolic changes. For the third layer, we use EEG as to assess electrophysiological changes in the brain. And as the fourth pillar of uh, our detection tools, we use biochemical or neurochemical methods to investigate the cerebrospinal fluid and the blood changes, proteins that are altered by the disease. All in all, help us to develop algorithms to detect the disease early in populations before symptoms occur. It's an honor for me to work at the Pitié Salpêtrière Hospital. This is the place with long tradition, 400 years, and this is the place where Charcot founded modern neurology and linked behavioral and neurological symptoms to brain changes. And this is the concept we are working on today. With a donation of 3 million euro by the AXA Research Fund to Pierre Marie Curie University, it's the best time to dive into and concentrate and focus all resources to Alzheimer's disease. And I'm, I'm more than happy to dedicate my experience and my expertise to that and work together with my French colleagues. And uh, for me, it's like a dream because I uh, went to France as an exchange student in the 17th and now I'm returning as a professor.